This is an informational video for the Vapormax 510 electronic cigarette. The 510 model comes in a box with two batteries, two atomizers, a pack of pre-filled cartridges in either tobacco or menthol, ranging from no nicotine to high nicotine. Also included is a USB charger, a home wall outlet charger, and a quick reference guide for the Vapormax 510 electronic cigarette. Sold separately is our Vapormax car charger for charging on the go. All it takes is the USB charger that comes with every kit and the car adapter and you're ready to go. Currently for the Vapormax 510 units they're sold in two different colors. There's white and there's black. There are three different styles of 510s. There's an automatic, a manual, and we also have an extra long battery for our 510 units. Currently all of our extra long batteries are only available in manual. Our 510 units contain either automatic or manual short batteries. You can also purchase them separately. Our extra long batteries are all sold separately. The XL batteries all have a longer battery life. They also have an extended cutoff the short batteries have a 6 second cutoff, extended batteries have a 13 second cutoff. 510 electronic cigarette is derived of three different parts. You have a battery, an atomizer, and a cartridge. We'll be focusing on the battery first. As I said, the battery comes in white and comes in black. I'll be using a white battery for this demonstration. This is our 510 automatic battery. It's simply activated by the user inhaling on the cartridge and it will activate a micro switch turning it on. Here is a 510 battery which is a manual push button. By pushing the button the light on the end will light up and it will heat up the atomizer. All of our manual 510 models have a safety feature which is a cutoff switch. After five to six seconds of holding down the button the light at the end will flash letting you know that the atomizer is turning off. This is a safety feature in case the button is hit inside your pocket, it won't superheat the atomizer. There is a way, however, to bypass this. By holding down the button for at least four seconds, then releasing the button, and pressing again and continuing your draw, you will bypass the safety feature and you will be allowed to take longer draws. On our XL batteries, the cutoff switch is designed to cut off between 13 and 15 seconds. Please note that a 510 atomizer does burn hotter than most other atomizers, so just be careful and watch how hot the atomizer gets. Don't get it too hot so that you actually burn yourself or you damage the cart or the e-cig. Charging a 510 unit is extremely easy. Simply take your battery and take your USB charger. Screw the battery into the charger. Make sure that it's nice and snug. You'll notice on the USB there is a light. That LED light when plugged in will turn red while charging and then it will turn green when the e-cig is finished charging. To charge this in your wall outlet, take your wall charger which comes in every kit, find the USB port, and plug your USB charger into the wall port. There's a red light on this charger, however that just lets you know that there's power going to the charger. Watch for the light indicator on the USB charger itself. To charge your e-cig in the car, you need a car adapter. The car adapter again has a USB outlet on it. Take your USB charger and plug it into your car charger. And on this too is a red LED that just lets you know power is going to the car charger itself. To make sure the battery is fully charged, check the light on the USB charger itself. When the light is green, unscrew it and you're good to go. Charge time for a 510 battery can be between 30 minutes and an hour to charge. Once a battery is fully charged, it should last you between 2 and 4 hours per battery. How long a battery actually lasts varies from person to person. It's recommended that you just try it and find out how long a battery lasts you. 
a pack-a-day smoker can probably use two batteries for a full day. People that use more than a pack a day will probably need to charge the batteries throughout the day. The next part of our electronic cigarette is the atomizer. This is a 510 atomizer, one of the most widely used atomizers on the market. The 510 atomizer simply screws into the battery. Make sure to check inside, make sure there's no residue. If a piece of polyfill is sitting on top of the atomizer, it can heat up and put off a bad burn taste. The next part of our electronic cigarette is the cartridge. Cartridges come pre-filled in the kits and are sold as blank separately. Simply place the cartridge inside the atomizer. Once all three pieces are put together, your 510 electronic cigarette is ready to be used. In the next portion of this video, I will show you how to refill a cartridge. Our 510 unit is by far one of the easiest units to refill. Simply take the cartridge off the top, and right there you have your polyfill mesh. Take whatever flavor juice that you want, and screw the top, and you're going to drip right onto that polyfill right there. The 510 cartridges can take quite a bit of juice. You want to drip onto it until it becomes nice and moist, just like that. You can see a nice shine on the top, but the liquid is not bubbled on top of the cartridge. You don't want to overfill your 510. Simply take it. Place it back on the atomizer, and you're ready to vape again. And that is how you refill your cartridge on your 510 unit.